Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys, Brown Street Men's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comics that are hitting Final Order Cutoff this weekend. Yes, we have some great picks for you. And if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of comic pop culture related content, so please consider subscribing. Just this past week, me and a bunch of friends just recapped our amazing trip at Baltimore Comic Con, so you can check that video, it's up on the channel right now. But let's get into this week's picks for Final Order Cutoff, starting with Image. We all know Jeff Johns, one of those great DC Comics masterminds, moved over to Image Comics for some creator-owned work with Geiger. Well, here we are getting something I don't see too much with independent and small press. We see it with DC Comics a lot with those 80-page giant issues. Jeff Johns is bringing that over to Image Comics. With that Geiger series, we are getting an 80-page giant issue for Geiger. All new stories, a bunch of different creative teams. If you're a fan of Geiger, if you're a fan of Jeff Johns, I'm a huge fan of Jeff Johns. Love his Green Lantern run. But Geiger 80-page giant is hitting Final Order Cutoff, and there's some great covers for it, so I'm putting that on this week's pre-order list. Also from Image Comics, we're getting Girl Scouts Stone Ghost number one. This is a new six-issue miniseries. Now, Girl Scouts is not new. It's been around for a while acclaimed artist Jim Mafood has created this universe and he is bringing it back for this Stone Ghost miniseries. Here they are promising cover to cover action-packed comics over the top psychedelic adventure. They are saying no ads. Does that mean you can ship this media mail? I don't know, but either way, this has a lot of comic book fans talking about this series and there's also an incentive 1 in 25 variant by Peach Momoko. A lot of people love Peach Momoko, so that's something to take note of. This looks like an amazing mini series, six issues. So I also have this in Final Order Cutoff for this week. Getting over to Dark Horse, we get Joy Operations number one. This is Brian Michael Bendis' creator owned title, starting with that whole Jinx world. Brian Michael Bendis is creating that, is creating Jinx world for his creator owned titles. And yes, some people love Brian Michael Bendis. Some people don't like Brian Michael Bendis. I'm more of a fan of his earlier work. Of course, we wouldn't have Miles Morales or some other characters. We wouldn't have Naomi if it weren't for him. So I'm hoping he gets back to his roots, writing some great stories and starting with his first creator owned in Jinx World. You might be asking, well, what's it about? In here, we get Joy, who's the main character, who's a special agent for Janando Trust. The trust are corporate owned cities in modern society and it's up to her to right the wrongs of the trust until one day she gets a voice popping in her head that tries to get her to betray everything that she has ever believed. And one other thing that's important to point out is Dark Horse does have a first look deal with Netflix. That's not to say this will be a Netflix show or won't be a Netflix show. That's also to say there's a bunch of comics that became Netflix shows that just sucked. But it's important to let you guys know there is that deal out there and you never know what may happen with this. And something else that's great about this title is you get a preview of the future Jinx World titles. So a lot of people love preview books. A lot of people, you know, might, you never know how things shake out. People go crazy, a preview is a first appearance or whatever. If that's something that interests you, this is definitely a book that might be worth picking up. You're gonna see it all the times. Then eBay ads later on, first Jinx World preview, blah, blah, blah. But I like Brian Michael Bendis enough to pick this up. This looks like a fun title. I love creator owned, I love independent books. So Joy Operations, love seeing Dark Horse get more momentum, more momentum behind a lot of their titles lately. So I'm definitely adding this to my pre-order list. Also in here from Marvel, we get Amazing Spider-Man number 81. Have been talking about Amazing Spider-Man series lately. Quite a few issues have been in this video series, but here we are also getting Ben Riley, the new Spider-Man, taking on Miles Morales, which would be fun to see within the main Spider-Man series. That's right. The Beyond Corporation paid a lot of money for that Spider-Man trademark, and they don't take too kindly to an unlicensed Spider-Man running around Brooklyn, so we set up 
the Ben Riley Miles Morales face off. This is also going to carry over into my next pick, which is Miles Morales Spider Man number 33. Both of these issues tie into each other where you get that Ben Riley Spider Man face off. And I've enjoyed Spider Man more. Nothing against Nick Spencer. I like Nick Spencer as a writer, but so far, I'm enjoying the main Spider-Man title more than I have. Always been a fan of Miles Morales Spider-Man, so I continue to pick that up. Here we are getting Ben Riley, Miles Morales facing off, so I'm picking both these up this week. Also from Marvel, we get a new event book, but this is one event that I am super excited for. I've talked about on my channel plenty of times how Chip Zdarsky's Daredevil run has been absolutely fantastic. He's carrying that over into this epic event with Devil's Reign. If you're a fan of Kingpin, if you're a fan of Daredevil, this is something you might want to pick up. And that's right, we are getting Kingpin, and he's not just going after Daredevil, he's going after Fantastic Four, he's going after Iron Man, going after Jessica Jones, going after Luke Cage, and he's got an army behind him, which can also consists of Taskmaster, the real Taskmaster, not that crappy ass Black Widow movie Taskmaster, Crossbones, Typhoid Mary, Shocker, not that Shocker, Whiplash, Rhino, and Craven, all in one epic event. I'm excited for this one. Marvel's excited for this one. How do I know? Because they put out a bunch of different covers for this issue. Either way, pick up cover A, pick up a cover you like, or like I always say, Pokemon style and collect them all. But Devil's Reign number one, Chip Zdarsky got that Marco Cicchetto art. I'm definitely on board for this one. Moving over to Boom Studios, we get that House of Slaughter number two. House of Slaughter number one, huge sellouts, huge print run for issue number one, but for good reason, because something is killing children. Such an amazing series, so here we're getting that spinoff. House of Slaughter number two is hitting final cut off this week. It has a bunch of great covers for it as well. And if you like those incentive variants, we do get up to a 1 in 25, 1 in 50, 1 in 100 for these. So if you're a fan of this series, remember issue number two hits final or cut off this weekend. Now, it might not be that hard to pick up cover A, but if you're trying to get those incentives, this is definitely something that you want to look into pre-ordering. Also, I'd like to say on this video, pre-orders oftentimes get you a discount, so make sure you check into that. But House of Slaughter number two, the house that Boom built continues to rise. Love Boom Studios. I'm a big homer of Boom Studios. There's no denying that, and I've gone on record for saying so. So take that information with what you will, but there's a lot of other fans out there liking House of Slaughter as well, or it wouldn't be selling the amount of copies that it is. Those were my main picks, but I also have a couple picks that I like purely for the cover art, and the first one I'm talking about is Transformers King Grimlock issue number four, just that cover A, Dave Wilkins cover. I'm a huge fan of Dave Wilkins, especially my all time grail Dave Wilkins cover is that Master of the Universe Skeletor variant. He is a master at 80s franchises and their covers. I love this cover for this. Regular price, pick up some Dave Wilkins goodness. So Transformers King Grimlock number four is definitely a cover that I absolutely love. Another cover I like for Final World Cutoff is from Image Comics and we get Hell Cop issue number two but we're talking about that Brian Haberlin variant. Love that cover kind of has that Playboy magazine feel to it. I'm a sucker for magazine variants so this is one that I like. Just kind of sticks out to me and on top of that it's regular priced. I love picking up books that are regular priced. Add to my collection that way I'm not breaking the bank on them. So gorgeous cover, regular price. So I'm picking that up and add it to my collection as well. And then lastly, I do have one trade paperback for this week. I mentioned Dave Wilkins, I mentioned Master of the Universe, but here from Dark Horse, we are getting that trade paperback for Masters of the Universe Revelation. That's right, collecting all four issues that had some Dave Wilkins covers in there as well. But being a Master of the Universe fan, I like to pick up the floppies and then pick up the trade paperback. Again, this is that prequel story to Kevin Smith's Netflix series. A lot of people didn't care for that first season. We just got the trailer for the second season. It's starting to raise interest again. Full disclosure, 
I enjoyed but wasn't the biggest fan of the first season, but I also said I want to see how it plays out. I don't want to judge Kevin Smith's Mess of the Universe based on just part of the story. I want to see how his whole story plays out. And I think that second season trailer looks phenomenal. We are getting Skeletor as we know him, even more as we know him. He seems super, super empowered and evil Lynn. Freaking goodness. I'm super excited for that. That comes out in November, but final, hitting final or cutoff, we are getting the trade paperback for the prequel to that Kevin Smith story, and that is that Mass of the Universe revelation, issues one through four collected in a trade. Again, pre-order it, get a discount. That's why I have it in this video. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for this week for Final Order Cutoff. Again, Final Order Cutoff is all over the place right now. Some are, some are Monday, some are Sunday, some are Saturday. You got a bunch of distributors all up in the mix. It's no longer Diamond anymore. You got Diamond, you got Lunar, you got Penguin House. So make sure you check with your comic book store. Make sure you check online to get your pre-orders in. With that being said, guys, this is Brian Submits Comics. See you guys in the next video. I want